Hi guys! Ooh. What's up guys? If you haven't missed it, the Siren Sims, and we're back at it again with another video. So, this is part two of the Bisa family household. Now, I'm gonna be honest, alright? I have definitely, you know, what's the word for it? I have definitely struggled with this one um, only because I had a story for it but that's not exactly what happened you know like I knew what I wanted but as I was making her I realized that there were different things going on with her character that I needed to take into consideration so this is Ola Bunny Visa now <laughs> Tokyo hunt the little babe she helped me out um, these girls are kind of loosely based off of the pleasant twins very loosely um, I would say they're not exactly like them I wanted to almost make them exactly like them but then I felt like I don't really want that level of toxicity with these type of sims right now maybe maybe I'll make another set of sims with that level of toxicity but i just feel like i want them to have like initially been at odds but then work it out so this is a household that i will be playing later on so the story is zuri and ola grew up right in an african country in the sims right i think there is one called ziwa yeah there's one called ziwa i think and um they grew up in ziwa and Zuri was a little bit more outgoing than Ola Bunny. She knew exactly what she wanted. She was willing to break the rules. She was willing to do what she had to to get what she wanted. Whereas Ola just wanted her parents' affection. And so she was just willing to do what she had to do to get her parents to get the big thumbs up from Papi. If, if you know where that line comes from, you're goaded. Anyways, so... They're twins, but they're slightly different. So, you know, Ola Bunny went to school. You know, they sent her all the way to Sims University so that she could go to school. But Ola Bunny has a secret. She didn't go to school to become a doctor like they wanted. She actually went to school to be a chef. And she didn't tell anybody because she didn't want to be like Zuri. Zuri's a little bit of a black sheep in the family. And right now, the only reason the parents are even talking to Zuri is because they're hoping they will allow Ola Bunny to stay over there so she doesn't really have any more expenses after you know everything that went on going to school. So, Ola Bunny has become a chef and she's going to start working in the chef career once I play them and you guys will see that storyline. Now, where the difficulty in making her character came in is this. Um, let's pause the story for now. Let's get into the sim making. Now, as I explained in my last video, which will be the Tumblr CC haul, that's the last video I made before the voiceover of this video, I explained to you how I make my sims look like actual people um, and not just like pretty dolls with different looks. One way that I do that is I try to make the hairstyles make sense. So for example, if my sim has an afro or afro kinky textured hair, the height of it kind of matters to me. Now, the good thing about black hair is that it can be long one minute, like, you know, kind of stretched out and a little curly, but then super tight and coiled the next. So there, so you know, you can suspend a bit of disbelief with black hair, but when you um i have to just be honest i use a lot of the best black hair that i have not all of it because i have a lot of black hair um thank you but i used most of it on zuri and i realized that i probably should because the original story was going to be that zuri was it wasn't just for her parents she was just a lot more traditional and i would have loved to have been able to show that through her hair but I realized that especially in the black community and the afro community 
sometimes, um, especially in other countries where even though they want to be steeped in their culture, they have to assimilate a bit of that European look. Having creamed hair or hair that is not necessarily Afro kinky is a part of black culture because you want to assimilate. So I updated the story a bit. So I gave her a bunch of hairs that I got from um, different people around. But the main hairs that I was using was hair by um, VS Sims. I'm going to make a video about them very specifically because I love them. But um, what I was doing as well, I was like, okay, I was trying to give her some Afro kinky hair, but I was like, mm -hmm. The ones that are my favorite right now, I put all up on Zuri. But here is how I made it make sense for the story. So this is a pro tip if you want to make a cohesive, that's the word I was looking for in the last one, a cohesive storyline. Part of the reason why you can tell that Zuri is a black sheep but she really loves her family is because of her hair. She tries to wear her hair in more Afrocentric styles and one of her main outfits when she is not doing a modeling gig is an um an afrocentric dress whereas because ola bunny has the respect of her parents she's allowed to wear more westernized modern clothing and so she is able to do that as long as she's not like showing up her body all around the place she is more allowed to wear regular clothing so that is why I was able to dress her like that I decided to edit the story it's just to show like the privilege that Ola does have but how I want to make Ola sympathetic is that even though she does want a family, she also wants to forge her own path. And she's very nervous about living in this new world, whereas Zuri is not. So the dichotomy of these two characters is very interesting to me. Because with Zuri, she's very out and loud and proud with her boldness, but like deep on the inside. Zuri is insecure about her culture and about where she fits in with it and so it comes out in her clothing and it comes out in her hair, right? But Ola Buddy is not insecure with her culture because she got that backing from her parents. And so what it comes out is is that she's nervous about being in the new world and that comes out in her actions. So that's my story. I think it's so cute. I'm going to be making matchups for them um lovers for them you know i can't have a sim story with no romance like we're not doing that what i would love for you guys to put down below what place do you think i should um, make them go i remember tokyo said probably bridgeport just put some suggestions down below um what world do you think i should put them in um a store world is fine i i have all the store worlds so store world is fine um in terms of custom worlds i don't necessarily use custom worlds very often um, so keep that in mind um, and if you're going to give me a custom world, it has to be one that is not big, medium to small, and is possibly already populated and does not use every single expansion pack under the sun because I don't do that. That lags out my game. Okay, so please just give me suggestions down below and I'll probably put it in a poll and y'all can vote. <laughs> so, uh, more about Ola Bunny. Let's put Zuri out of the equation. Ola was always a little bit jealous of Zuri because she was able to just be free and speak her mind immediately that is actually one pro of being a black sheep it really doesn't matter anymore you don't have to pretend anymore you don't have to act like you have to be something or not be something anymore you know what i mean it really doesn't matter um and so ola just like internalized that jealousy of her sister and that caused her to like fall out with her sister a little bit Zuri always tries to reach out, and every now and then when she is not being petty, Ola will um, reciprocate a little bit, which is why they have just a good enough relationship to, you know, at least do a trial run of moving in together. So that's how all of this is working out for them. Anyways, um, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit longer than I did in Zuri's, but you know, Zuri is just like a model and everything. But I, after I made her, I realized there was a story there, and so I'm just explaining the story to you guys. Let me know if you like it or not. It's fine. Just personal opinion. And also, even though I am black of the new war complexion, it does not mean I know everything about every African country. So if you think I said something that's a little tone deaf, I'm just making up a storyline based off little pieces of what has happened in history and what people have told me of their lives when they immigrate. Because technically, Zuri and all of... Ola Bunny 
are immigrators. Now, I really worked really hard on their story, like um, the parallels between them, Angela and Lilith. Um, I even um, counted, like Angela's name starts with an A, I counted how far apart the A is from the L in Lilith just so I could make sure Zuri and Olaf Bunny had that same distance in their names. That's why I decided to name Zuri's sister with an O. Um, and I have a bunch of cute names. And look, when the kids come in this playthrough, I have some very cute ideas for them too. This is long form, long form, bro. So, um, one thing I also have planned, just so you guys can get excited. I am going to have Ola Bunny um, date outside of her race. Now, one of the reasons why, I know, oh, shocker, but you know, because of the story, I'm actually going to have Zuri date a man of the newer complexion, but I'm going to have Ola Bunny date outside of her race because it's going to be a show that Ola Bunny is doing exactly what she wants now, whereas Zuri just kind of dates inside of her race as a form of showing her insecurity, but then both her and the guy heal each other. Whereas with Ola Bunny, she dates outside of her race and she finds herself there. And it, of course, she doesn't go looking for it. You know how I am. I'm going to set it up really well. So that is technically the story with them. Um, let's just get into the looks. So I plan to make Ola Bunny a chef mama, cooking mama. Um, she's really going to be really, really, really into the chefery. I want to make her a celebrated five-star chef. I've always played that chef career, but I've never gone all the way to the top. Um, apparently, when you go all the way to the top, there's like a really good prize that I want. So I am going to be playing her there. Part of me really wants to play them in Monte Vista, but I would have to fix that world. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about it really heavily, thinking about it. Um, let me know if you want me to put them in Monte Vista. It is my favorite world, but that doesn't mean that you guys have to pick it. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, a lot of people said Bridgeport, but you know I'd have to fix Bridgeport too. There, whatever. Any world is fixable though. So, um, Ola Bunny kind of has this conservative, slightly academia style, but it's still cute. That's why I gave her like the dress top with the corset, the jeans, um, for her gown wear. I gave her something that's a little bit less traditional to show that she is trying to be more brave, uh, unlike Zuri, who is trying to show her parents that she still is connected to, to her roots. Um, also, with her sleepboard, it's something simple, something light, nothing traditional, right? So you can see there's nothing traditional about her. Um, when they were younger, I wanted to just think up for their childhood background. Um, the mother had them cream both of their hairs, but one of the ways that the family had broken away from Zuri is that Zuri was like, no, I want to, you know, embrace my natural. And even though she had wanted them to cream their hair because their parents always planned to send them away so that they could have a better life over there, is because she was like, look, like you guys already have this bias against me. At least let me hold on to my roots just to show you guys that I listen to you and I care. Unfortunately, they didn't see it that way. But Suri loves her hair and she sees it as a part of herself. And that's why she doesn't want to put any creams and dyes on it. Ola Bunny also loves how she looks. But she doesn't take it as spiritually serious because she was the one who was preferred. So she always had to consider those things. So once she was able to just continue um, perming her hair, she just kept doing it. That is why her hair is not super duper long. It's more mid-length um, on the shoulder, a little bit lower than the shoulder. Yeah. I went through a lot making this sim at least the first hairstyle because I wanted to show a little bit. Um, like give her a little bit of an accessory to be like, if I'm back. But then I was just like, mm, I don't like how that hair looks. So there was a lot of transitions with this one. I just wanted to take you guys through my mental process a little bit. Um, you guys can let me know how you feel about that. I think it was a really, really good look. Also, please stay tuned to the end of this video. Okay, I have been working on making these videos so much cooler and making little things that I can turn into shorts. So it, it will be a short later on. But I made a little bit of a showcase at the end, okay, for Ola Bunny or Bunny, Bunny Bisa, all right? So you guys can see Bunny Bisa close to the end of this video doing something very cool that I'm so excited that I'm going to start making all my sins do 
okay it's gonna be brand new all right so it's gonna be brand new apart from the cast cartoons that I've already filmed most of the people that you see me making in criticisms now I'm going to have to make them do this but it's just so interesting to me I'm sorry okay um, so please wait till the end just to watch the whole thing sorry I'm talking for so long but it's a long story and I don't really feel like rehashing this in the video I'll bring it up little by little when I play them but like no <laughs> we don't gotta do a three hour video where I do gameplay and a long story we don't have to do that so I do it here in creative sim because I like talking okay I like talking sue me sue me okay um yeah thank you guys so much for 500 followers I am so happy Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm kind of in a new location filming this and so I feel like I have to talk a little bit louder um, because I'm not, I don't have my bedroom set up anymore. So that's why I'm talking so loud, that's why the last video was, was me like a few octaves higher than normal. But yeah, um, as usual you can download Ola Bunny below. Um, also, if anybody wants to tell me how I can put houses up for download, because I'm going to start building. Um, if anybody wants to tell me how to do that, um, please, put it down below, okay? Um, also, um, CC that I got here, it's great, okay? I'll also be putting her up on Tumblr for download and everything. And on Tumblr, I'll like link the people that I used to make these outfits, so you'll see that as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. I don't really know how long the main cast video is going to be, so if there's any amount of time left after this, I'll probably just let some music play um, until the end, and then you'll get your special showcase surprise. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the support. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye, my sires. Susu! -su!